watch what you say You better watch what you do to me Don't get carried away Girl, if you can do better than me I fall Just fall But remember Good love is hard to find Gainesville, Florida. Kind of reminds me of Savannah, Georgia with all the Spanish moss. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know how still I can hold this, but if you're looking about the center of your screen, sitting right there in the front lawn of this house, you'll see Tom Petty himself. Well, it's a wooden cutout. Tom Petty, but this house right here is where he spent most of his childhood. He grew up here in Gainesville. Now, sadly, Tom Petty died in 2017 at the age of 66. After his death, his ex-wife bought the house, but now it's under new ownership. And I think it's pretty fitting. I think it's good that an artist lives here now. All right, so there's really no script to what we do. Okay, yeah. It's just whatever you want to say, introduce yourself and okay. what you do. Uh, my name is uh, Sec37, um, the owner of Visionary Fam. We do murals, events, and uh, and yeah, you're at my Tom Petty's house and just wanted to shout, shout, shout you guys out. So you do a lot of the artwork around town of Tom yeah, Petty. Yeah, and uh, a lot of, most of the murals that you see downtown, a lot of the murals you see downtown, there a lot of them are ours. Yeah. Excellent. And you were yeah. telling me about you have an an, an Instagram account. Yeah, uh, Visionary Fam, uh, on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Perfect. Yeah. We'll check you guys out. Thank you. It's crazy to think that a young Tom Petty here in Gainesville, growing up, was playing on this very road and in this very yard. That's just cool. Bad booty, man. Bad booty. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. Right now we're at the Tom Petty Park here in Gainesville. Tom Petty grew up about two blocks down the road from right here. It's just a park, but there are a few things that say Tom Petty on it, like this sign. Well, let's get a closer look at the sign here for the Tom Petty Park. One of the classic, I think it's an album cover. I mean, I correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that that is a Tom Petty album cover for the Tom Petty Park. Aside from the name, there really isn't anything else here other than baseball fields and tennis courts. But there are a few signs that do say Tom Petty on it, so let's go check it out. I'm sorry, I stand corrected. There's a welcome to Tom Petty Park sign here that talks about the rules of the park. You know, don't do this, but you can do this, but don't do that, you can do this. And I should also add, it is smoke free. Which is good, because Jessica and I don't smoke. At the beginning of this video, I dedicated this video to my mom because, well, she was a huge Tom Petty fan. Because of her, I grew up on Tom Petty in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In fact, my very first concert was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers at Star Lake Amphitheater. I don't remember what year it was, but I do have the concert ticket at home. But remember, good love to find. Uh, sadly, because of the coronavirus, we can't get on the property of this school. But when Tom Petty lived here in Gainesville, behind this fence is where he went to school. And I wanted to come here and check out this. I don't know if you can see it. We're kind of far away, but in about the center of your screen is another mural of Tom Petty. This time, right above his picture, it says, You belong among the wildflowers. In a lot of ways, Gainesville kind of reminds me of Atlanta, Georgia, only cleaner. And I say that because it's a very graffiti-heavy town. 
from what we've seen, Gainesville's actually pretty nice. I'm sure there's some bad parts, but at least the graffiti, the, the murals that are done here are actually really nice. They fit in quite well. Right now I'm standing on Southwest 34th Street in Gainesville, Florida. And this is the 34th Street wall. And this little block right here is dedicated to Tom Petty. It's been covered up, it's been painted, it's been defaced. But it's still here, Gainesville's number one son. You put your hands in my cheek Yeah, then you turn your eyes away If you don't feel complete Girl, if you can go all the way I'll fall. And you know what, you can call me weird, but yes, the artwork is beautiful, but I also am very interested. I think this is cool. All the graffiti remnants on the sidewalk all the way down and it goes on for blocks. I gotta say it, well done Gainesville. I think any Tom Petty fan would be proud. Hopefully you can make out the name of that street right there. Right now I'm standing at the entrance to Tom Petty Alley, which is this dirt road heading back to Hartwood Studios. Finding all the Tom Petty locations here in Gainesville. It's kind of like a uh, scavenger hunt, if you will. Now the Hartwood Studios is a state-of-the-art recording studio here in downtown Gainesville. And we came here mainly because there's a, another mural of Tom Petty on one of the walls of the buildings. And I'm gonna have to say it's probably my favorite. The wind is starting to pick up, which is awesome because the sun has pretty much been burning a hole into my skin the entire time that I've been out here filming this. But check this out. It's Tom Petty as the Mad Hatter. You can just imagine him singing, don't come around here no more. Now I realize I probably don't come across as a Tom Petty fan, and I don't really listen to him that much. I just grew up on him. Like I said, he was my mom's favorite musician. In fact, at my mom's funeral, the song that they played was his Free Fallen. And you know what? To this day, whenever I hear that song, it takes me back to my mom's funeral. It gets me all teary-eyed. All right, so here's the thing about Beatty Towers. It's supposed to be haunted. Basically in the 1960s, a girl living in the dormitory jumped to her death. She haunts the halls. Now local legend, urban legend, also says that Tom Petty's song, American Girl, is about this suicide. He says it's not. They say it is. He says it's not. It's an urban legend that is told from year to year and college student to college student. What Grim Life Collective video wouldn't be a Grim Life Collective video without a ghost story? Now I do also want to point out that there has been no record of anybody jumping to their death committing suicide from the Beatty Towers. But just like her supposed life, this video is over. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a-comin' my way.